welcome back students to one more session of your unit 2 that is your from your CBSC or in that if I have to say the NCRT book where we are doing chapter 2 one after the other so basically in my channel you'll be having the exp explanation first then you'll be having the animated part of the activity so no book or I, I feel no no way you will learn the activity you'll just just read it and leave wrong examiner will be giving you questions based on the activity which is involved done so today Today we'll be, we'll be doing the neutralization reaction that is how do acids and bases react with each other. So basically uh, this acids and bases is a chapter which is introduced in grade 10. Further you'll be learning n number of properties about this in your PU1 uh, that is your grade 11 also. Done. So here they're asking what happens when acid reacts with a base right we know acid plus base simple as that it gives me salt plus water simple reaction the quite common fifth class thing which we have learned but what is important here here we are going to test the acid in the presence of an indicator here we are going to use one indicator that is called phenolphthalein indicator right so i'm going to use an indicator as i say what is it what are the what are indicators i did this video in video number two uh, yeah video number three where i've explained there are two types of or three types of acid base indicators litmus paper phenolphthalein indicator and methyl orange indicator so here i'm going to use phenop nop phenolphthalein indicator so in this phenolphthalein indicator i'm going to test whether it is an acid or a base now Ma'am, before going into the reaction, simple reaction, there is nothing big uh, uh, thing. Let us take an example. So, here, acid, you can take any acid, HCl, sulfuric acid, the product is the same, salt and water. Suppose if I take an acid, HCl, I am going to take the basic base, sodium hydroxide, it's just basic thing. Ma'am, why it is called an acid? Because it has H plus ion. Why it is called a base? Because it has got OH minus ion. So what will happen? The center part, NaCl, will come out as a salt, which I have mentioned here. The leftover water comes out. So, let's see, acid plus base gives me salt plus water. What is a salt? Salt is a compound which is a combination of a cation and an anion. Both the charges will be there. Now what is cation? Cation is a positively charged species. Anion is a negatively charged species. Done. Let us take one more. Suppose if I have instead of HCl, I have sulfuric acid. I have sodium hydroxide as a base. Same product again students. You will be getting the center part here that is Na2SO4 and the leftover water ma'am how will I know Na2SO4 is a formula same story this is a polyatomic ion grade 9 syllabus the valency or the cha <coughs> charge or the valency of sulfate is 2 the valency of sodium is 1 so it is sodium sulfate Na2SO4 done like this now let, shall we take one more yes let us take instead of uh, sodium we will take na one more uh, base calcium hydroxide is a base now again I'm going to take HCl what product will we get we'll be getting the center part that is salt nothing but how should I write calcium chloride what is the leftover one water so everywhere whenever an acid whether it is HCl sulfuric acid or nitric acid we will be getting a combination with a base always a salt which has a positively charged cation and a negatively charged anion and water. Here students, my problem, how will I remember? Nothing. Wherever I am drawing boxes, the center part should be taken out. The leftover is H2O. NaCl, NaCl, H2O. Simple, isn't it? Now, how will I test this with a indicator phenolphthalein? So now I know I have these reactions. I get salt plus water. Now remember, I am going to show you this activity in the form of an animated video which will be at the end clearly. Now what trick I should remember? Phenolphthalein indicator, the role of this. Just see, phenolphthalein indicator when you add it in a base, it will always turn into light pink, nice beautiful pink color solution. When you put it in an acid, it will become colorless. Again, when you add base to it, it will become light pink. So, what is observation? Phenolphthalein indicator 
becomes light pink in a base once again repeat with me phenolphthalein indicator becomes light pink in a base colorless in an acid clear students yes to understand this i have added i have made a self designed animated video which will be attached to this same concept i'll be putting in the form of a video so that he there i'll be mentioning activity 2.1 activity 2.6 like that so remember acid plus base combines together to form what salt plus water it can be any acid hcl sulfuric acid yes there i'm going to take calcium hydroxide as a base sodium hydroxide as a base magnesium hydroxide as a base yes students no problem but the product is salt plus water again here you are going to show now what is this experiment teaching us it's going to show how is the effect of the acid and the base with the phenolphthalein indicator so watch the activity which is the end of the video it will it will give you a clear explanation how is the effect of the acid nullified by the base clearly in that yes first it will become light pink it will become colorless then again it will become light pink let us come and see the activity